comes to COVID-19 as opposed to last year. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live right now outside Yale New Haven Hospital, uh, where he spoke with an infectious disease specialist today. Matt, what did he tell you? Well, Mark, while the Delta variant is highly contagious, uh, the symptoms are quite similar uh, to what folks were dealing with last year. He says, though, how severe? Well, that might depend on whether you're vaccinated or not. He says the one big difference that we're seeing now, though, is that there are many more children coming down with COVID. Over the past few weeks, we have seen increasing COVID numbers in our hospital. And Dr. Scott Roberts says while there are a lot less cases now at Yale New Haven Hospital compared to last spring, there are some noticeable differences. We are seeing some people who have been vaccinated who are testing positive for COVID. Um, a majority of these patients are not that ill. They are either have mild symptoms such as a headache, a runny nose, a cough. Um, but in comparison to last year where we did not have vaccines, we're seeing less patients admitted to the hospital, less patients on ventilators. Here at Yale New Haven, we're told about 90% of those testing positive involve the Delta variant. And the majority of those getting admitted to the hospital involve patients who haven't been vaccinated. If they haven't been vaccinated, we're seeing as similar severity as last year, if not worse. Um, there are some reports out of the CDC that the new Delta variant may be more severe, lead to worse symptoms, more deadly as a disease. But Robert says one of the biggest differences between the Delta variant and the first few waves of the pandemic is that now more children are contracting COVID and requiring hospitalization, something that rarely happened last year. I think uh, we're, we're being humbled by COVID in terms of what we're finding out, what we're learning. He says there are still a lot of unknowns and with school starting up shortly, he says that's why it's so important to get vaccinated if you're eligible and for everyone to mask up indoors and avoid large gatherings, regardless of one's status. It's tough to predict what the winter will hold. Um, you know, historically, we see summers as very mild respiratory viral seasons. And so the fact that we're seeing this with COVID, you know, it is very interesting and we're going to keep an eye on things going forward. Now, while he stressed it's tough to predict what's in store, he pointed out the risk of transmission significantly less outdoors. But with folks heading indoors when it gets cooler, he says they are preparing for a bad winter. And he says, and that's not just with COVID, but he also says with the flu season and other respiratory illnesses we typically see. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you. New details now.